boy, um, Netflix isn't doing so good these days. The streaming waters aren't as easy as they used to be for Netflix, what with all the competition they have now. People are tired of the streaming wars. Damn it, there are just too many streaming platforms to choose from. I'm thinking maybe I need to create my own streaming service, my own DIY streaming service. Wouldn't be that hard, but a better name for it might be a home media server. A home media server is basically like having your own Netflix except it's made up of all the movies and TV shows and music that you already own. If you've got a bunch of Blu-rays and DVDs and TV box sets laying around, all you need to do is digitize them and throw them on a NAS or a network attached storage device. From there, all you need to do is set up the software that reads all of that media and runs your home media server, like uh, Plex, which can be accessed from any of your devices, whether that be your TV, PlayStation, Xbox, or even just your phone. Essentially, you're turning this into this. Just for fun, I named my server Blockbuster Plus because I like to imagine living in a world where Blockbuster never went out of business. And so with Blockbuster Plus, I have access to all of my media from any device anywhere in the world, as long as I have an internet connection. Now, admittedly, this takes up a lot of time to set up. I'm ripping every DVD using Handbrake, which is free to use, and that converts it into an MP4 file. And in the case of Blu-rays, I have to make it into an MKV file first and then use Handbrake to convert it into an MP4. So if you have a lot of movies, it can be a long process. An added bonus to all this is being able to free up clutter in your house. These things take up a lot of room, and unless it comes in some kind of special steel case, or maybe it's a hard to find Blu-ray or something, I really don't see much point in keeping them around. Personally, I would much rather save the space and just put this stuff on a server. One of the things I like most about having my own home media server is being able to customize it. Like I said, I'm using Plex, and with Plex, I am able to customize it in a few ways. For starters, you can organize all your media into playlists and collections. I use playlists to organize all the special features that I rip, and collections I like to use to group uh, all the movies in a franchise together, or maybe even just similar types of movies. You can also change the artwork if you want. Like for me personally, a lot of times I don't really like the original movie poster, so I might go and try to find the special steelbook artwork and use that instead. Or maybe I'll go on alternative movie posters and find something I like on there. But probably my favorite way to customize your server is to add pre-roll to enhance your media watching experience. So you know like when you go on Netflix and you start to watch a movie and then you see the Netflix logo do its little intro thing? Well, I wanted something like that for my server. So I started messing around with Adobe After Effects. I wanted something that spoke to the old school nature of watching movies like on an old CRT television, but I also wanted something with a digital vibe to it. So after messing around a little bit, this is what I came up with. And then I made a few more pre-roll options and made it so Plex would randomly pick one to play before a movie. These are real cool, but I think it's best to keep them to like three, maybe five seconds long at the most. That way you don't get super annoyed with them after a while. And that's basically it. That is my own personal streaming service. Like I said, it's a lot of work to digitize all of your media, especially if you have a lot of it like I do. But if you have the patience for it, I think the end product is pretty cool. If you want to start your own media server, I'll put some links down below for the hardware that I went with in case you just wanna use what I use. I'll also put some links to some After Effects tutorials that really helped me create the pre-roll that I made. Anyway, that's gonna do it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. You know what to do. Also, I started a TikTok.
I don't really know what I'm doing on there yet, but I started a TikTok. If you're on TikTok, feel free to follow me on there. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.